Are you coming on for us in a second? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Here we are in Central Park with Steve McLean from Flashes. I'd like to introduce some members of the group Heart. Roger Fisher. Hi, Steve. Let me shake your microphone uh, there. Hi, Roger. <laughs> Nancy Wilson. Nancy. Hello. And Howard Lee. How you doing, Steve? Hiya. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. <laughs> Terrific. Listen, it probably seems to the outside world that you just happened relatively recently with the first album, but that's not the case, is it? You were going for some time. That's true. Roger here has been in this band in one shape or the other Chloe's going on 12 years now. 12 years? I guess the lineup's changed a bit over those 12 years, hey? Sure has, Steve. Quite a bit. How much is quite a bit? Well, uh, now Steve and I are the only original two members, of course, and uh, oh, in that time we've probably gone through like eight to ten different members, and then before we ended up with uh, the group in its present form. Whereabouts did the group get together? The group as it is actually first got together in Vancouver, B.C., and that's why a lot of people thought we were from, uh, from yeah. Canada. Uh -huh. But you're, you're Seattle figures too, doesn't it? Yeah, now we all live in Seattle. When did you two, you and your sister, come into the group, Nancy? Well, Anne came in uh, about four years before I joined the band. Um, I only joined like three years ago. And so I'm just, I'm the baby of the group. What but brought you to rock and roll? Um, well, actually I think I, I tried college for a while, just for my own reasons. And what were you studying? Um, the arts and language, uh, a little music and a lot of literature and language. And, but I decided to join Anne's group because I'd always wanted to be in a group with Anne. And we'd always been in folk groups before and I always played acoustic music until I joined. And I just decided it was time, and so I dove right in. What kind of reactions do you get from guys? Because it's not often guys in audiences get to see really hard rocking, rolling ladies. <laughs> well, it's real favorable, of course. I mean, <laughs> what of course. Kind of oh, lots of wolf whistles and screams. <laughs> and hey, Nancy, <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> men aren't used to seeing women actually be musicians, you know, right. too, as well as rock and rollers. Why do you think it's taken girls so long to really get going in rock and roll? Well, I think this is the first time in history that, that some women have taken a look at the possibilities of what they really can do if they want to do it. And the, with the advent like of the Beatles and stuff, and rock music in general, I think people are just getting more and more able to do what they want to do, you know, and women included. You know, you've worked with virtually every band imaginable, including Australia's Little River Band, right? They've been on the bill with you. We started out opening for everybody we could, the Starship and yeah. everybody, and now we're the headliners and other bands are opening for us. You know, Little River Band is a great band. Yeah, they're nice, yeah. nice guys. We play with them quite a bit. We love them. They're good. The new album, Little Queen, has had fantastic reviews. In fact, some critics have suggested it would be very difficult for you to beat it. Is that a problem, <laughs> beating something, sir? We had a problem beating Dreamboat Annie, too. You know, following up a, a big debut album is always hard, and a lot of pressure. And we just try not to worry about the pressure and just do what we feel as artists is right for us, you know, and just hope that people like us, and so far, they have. You know. We'd like to just be able to be, to have even greater variety, you know, touch on, uh, uh, all the different facets oh, yeah, of music, a, you know. Yeah, and there's a lot more in the acoustic field that we haven't touched on yet, too. That, that the possibilities are all there, From vocally. The deep past to the far future. <laughs> Do you find it easy to write, Nancy? Easy to write? Yeah, to write the songs. Does it come to you hard or easy? Um, it depends. A lot of the time it's, it's kind of difficult. Because, well, for one thing, being on the road is not exactly, it does not lend itself to writing or creativity that much or growth, you know, personal growth. Well, the kind of writing you do is really uh, uh, a gift. They, the girls, uh, <laughs> they don't settle for something unless it's really inspired, you know, and that kind of thing is, is yeah. that, it's not easy to come by. Yeah. <laughs> well, Barracuda, I think, was the one that we wanted to have come out first because it was the heaviest one. We, we figured if we get away with Barracuda, we could do anything. And I think Little Queen will probably be the next single. I'm not, I'm not sure. Well, Barracuda is very unusual for an AM hit. It's got bars of seven beats, bars of nine beats. It's very, you know, real unusual musically. We've got a lot of coverage here, photographers, people, my God. Anyway, terrific. Thanks for talking to Flashes. I hope your concert tonight's fabulous. Great. I hope so.
Great. In Australia? Australia. Yeah, all right.